In today's video, I'm going to give you an update on how our hanging baskets are doing. Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings, and it's been about four weeks or so since we originally got our hanging baskets planted up. And so you can see just how beautiful they're looking at this point in the season. The reason I'm doing the video is because the team is going to go through these baskets and give them a light trim before they hang them up in the ceiling where they will continue to grow until we're ready to bring them out into the garden center here. So we are located in Zeeland, Michigan. So our garden center will open up around April 12th and these baskets need to be ready more around the end of April when it's safer for us to be bringing our annuals outside here in Michigan. But I thought there's so much color starting to show on these baskets that it would be really pretty to just kind of walk around through the garden center today and show you some of the combinations that we've done. So as I kind of just pan over the garden center and see various pops of color, I'm seeing a lot of combinations where we've used the Supertunia Saffron Finch. So there's a lot of Saffron Finch that we've used this year. This basket in particular kind of really stands out to me as I walk past it. We're calling it Smooth Jazz. And as you can see, it's got the beautiful bold yellow Saffron Finch planted along with a Supertunia Vista Jazzberry. And then there's some also some Supertunia Mini Vista White. This is a unique combination for a full sun garden, and I'm just loving the brightness and the boldness of the white, the yellow, and that purple of jazzberry that are all planted together. Next, this one isn't quite as far along, but still we'll show you the tag so you can see what's in it. This one is called Sparkling Rose. And the plants that we're using in this combination, this is a shade combination, we have the Rocapoco Rose Impatient, which is a beautiful pink color. It almost matches my shirt. We have the Diamond Frost Euphorbia. And then we also did some of the, the big leaf vine. So it's gonna have a nice trailing and upward effect to it. Shades of pink and white. Just a beautiful soft color combination for shade gardens. As we walk across the aisle, we've got a jazz quartet combination. And you can start to see that there's some of the flowers emerging here. This would have the Supertunia Royal Velvet, which is going to be the beautiful deep purple color you're seeing. The Supertunia Hoopla Vivid Orchid, which are not showing their pretty faces yet. And then also in the middle there is the Supertunia Vista Jazzberry. So this is going to be a nice combination of various purple colors with just a nice little splash of white that's coming from that vivid orchid hoopla. Also, we have Lilac Festival, and Lilac Festival has been a popular variety of ours for several, several years. This also is a nice combination with a lot of purple shades to it. You can see there's some of the verbena and the petunias starting to show some color. The ingredients of this combination are the Superbena Violet Ice, the Supertunia Royal Velvet, and then the Supertunia Blue Veined. So the Blue Veined are still waiting to show their pretty little faces, but this is gonna be a nice, like I said, purple and white combination. It's always fun in the winter when we're going through paging through the books, trying to figure out what to put together, looking at you know what sold good the year before and what we think might be a good seller for this current season. And of course, we wanna incorporate any new varieties into some of the baskets we're creating as well. So let's take a look here at Midnight Madness. Midnight Madness, Madness has the Supertunia Persimmon, which was new in 2023 kind of that beautiful corally orange color with that nice yellow center, planted with the Nemesia Aromance Mulberry, which quickly became a favorite of ours here at Garden Crossings, just because this plant bloomed all summer long and just, it never stopped. It always was putting on a gorgeous show of color. Also is the new Supertunia Mini Vista Ultramarine, which is a lot like the Royal Velvet with that deep purple color. So again, a lot of purple, I feel like is um, kind of purple and yellow are kind of a theme in the baskets we've used. But with this purple and orange combination, I think it's gonna look really pretty in a full sun garden. Let's see what else we have.
I feel like geranium baskets are kind of an old-fashioned staple. Uh, Rod would say, Heidi, we don't want geraniums. That's kind of an old plant. Let's do something new. And I'm like, Rod, geraniums aren't an old plant. Let's do them because they're faithful. They just, they do well always. So we have some geraniums in our baskets that we plant or in our containers. Of course, we also have the new things as well. Um, but I love mixed baskets using geraniums. So this mix here we call Holy Pink Diamond. This is a mix of the Boldly Hot Pink geraniums, which are not blooming, so we'll go ahead and show you the tag. It's a very vibrant, bright pink, much like the color of my shirt today. Mixed with a Super Bell's Holy Moly, which we're seeing here blooming in the basket. It's a bicolor bloom, a striped bicolor bloom with magenta and yellow. And then we've got that Diamond Frost Euphorbia, which just adds kind of a nice sprinkle or a little filler to this basket combination. So when we're creating our baskets, we kind of want that thriller, filler, spiller feel. And thriller is gonna be more just, you know, things hanging out at the top of the pot. Uh, but we're always looking for something that will trail over to give that basket a nice full trailing look. One thing I must say is if you grow hanging baskets or container combinations, there is one thing that is of most importance when you are growing these plants. Of course, water, that one you all know, you need to keep them watered to keep them going and looking beautiful. But fertilizer is the, the most important thing that you can have to keeping your baskets looking beautiful all summer long. We, can, we say, you know, feed them and they'll be fabulous. So basically, if you can feed with a water soluble fertilizer, you're hanging baskets once a week, they're gonna be fabulous and reward you with beauty all summer long. Continue on, because there's more beauty around. We mentioned the saffron bench was very popular this year in our baskets. And here we have a combination called sweet tart. Sweet tart consists of the saffron finch, which is a beautiful yellow you're seeing here in the combinations, along with the supertunia persimmon, which was a new variety last year, the beautiful corally orange with a yellow. And then just for a splash to break it up a little bit, we're using the Superbell's Miss Lilac. So Miss Lilac isn't showing up yet on the baskets, but that's gonna add just a nice soft lavender feel to this current mix of colors that we're seeing here. Sunglasses, this one here too. This one has been popular for the past several years. And I think it's just a nice mix of color that just really make you feel summery, cheery. It's just a bright, nice mix of flowers that do very well together. The sunglasses combination, we're actually seeing all of the flowers represented or starting to show here. But we have the Supertunia Lovey Dovey, which is a beautiful bicolor petunia with pink and white stripes along with the Super Bell's Yellow, which I think Super Bell's Yellow is just, I think you put yellow with anything and it just makes everything look better. I know there's gonna be some of you that are gonna disagree with me on that, but I don't know, yellow just makes everything feel happy and cheery. And then we also have the Super Tunia Mini Vista Hot Pink that's putting together this beautiful mix of colors. This is a full sun basket and really, like I said, has been a top seller for many years here at Garden Crossings. And the last combination we're gonna look at here is called fruit salad, which also has been a very popular variety. And it's got, again, those bright, cheery colors, the yellows, the purples, the pinks, all the colors that just say, welcome summer. So this combination consists of the Super Bell's Lemon Slice. Lemon Slice has been around for quite a while now. And the first year it was introduced, it was such a popular plant. And I think if we can find you a picture of an actual flower here, it is, it's such a bright, cheery looking flower. I just love the look of Lemon Slice and it pairs well with so many different flower colors and varieties. Also, we have the Superbina Royal Ice Cherry Verbena, which too I think is a very pretty verbena, kind of that hot pink with a little bit of a halo white center to it. And then Grape Punch. You can never go wrong with planting the Super Bell's Grape Punch. I tend to have grape punch in a lot of my planters because it just it, it's another one of those plants that just works well with everything it's planted with. But before we go today, I'm sure you have been wondering in your head, what are these little sachets that we are seeing in every one of the baskets that we're talking about today? So this is a product from BioLine. This is a biological little sachet. And housed within this sachet are good bugs. 
So good bugs that go after bad bugs. So thrip, spider mite, those are some of the bugs that can oftentimes plague annuals. Um, usually spider mite isn't a problem for us this time of year. That's more of a, a heat loving bug. But there's bugs inside of here that will go after specifically thrip and target that plant. That way it keeps these plants protected so that they are free from any bug issues. So you may notice in your hanging baskets, if you're buying them from Garden Crossings, this little sachet, just leave it in there. It's usually good for about four to six weeks where the bugs are actively doing their job. And just something to leave in there because you never know. If they're hanging on longer, you leave them in. It's a good beneficial thing that's going to just help with the health and well-being of your plant. And as I mentioned before, fertilizer. Don't forget to feed your plants. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.